children lesson number 14 our environment our environment okay children so far uh, we dealt with the first paragraph what is environment and uh, secondly the environment divided into two one is natural one is uh, man made so already i explained you what is natural and what is man made things so in our natural we studied about land air water living things and man made things we studied roads industries buildings parks etc so now let us move forward into natural environment what is natural environment it refers to both biotic and abiotic resources existing on the earth it refers to both biotic and abiotic resources existing on the earth so uh, dear children so far we studied what is environment now what is natural things so it refers both biotic and non biotic so biotic what is biotic biotic is all the living things like plants and animals are called biotic resources all living things like plants and animals are called biotic resources then what is abiotic abiotic all the non living things are called abiotic resources all the non living things like living things are called abiotic resources okay chilla so now <coughs> biotic means all living things like plants and the animals so even plants and animals are around us not only the human beings are known as living things even animals and plants do you know that even plants has got life do you know yeah plants also like us they grow <coughs> even they prepare their own food so you just uh, imagine how can you make out you want the trees and the plants have got life of course you bring a plant small plant very tiny plant and plant it and live without watering so you will come to know whether plant has got life or no of course once you plant the plant you need to take care of it pouring the water cleaning around it and giving good manure so day by day the plant will start growing <coughs> it grows it leaves the new new shoots the new leaves will come the height of the plant will start increasing so then you know even the plant has got life so the other way you completely forget looking after the plant not watering not looking after that we are not taking care of that plant so it will start drying why it is drying because no there is no food for it for that there is no water to drink how it will come up so therefore it is a very good example to know even the plants has got life same way even animals animals of course they too are like us they too need food water and place to sleep and place to live so you take any animals 
they go in search of food in shelter and love take a very simple example if you have cats at home so how loving they are even when you eat something they look at you if they want water to have they show something they want to water to drink either they come near the pot or they go near the tap or they go near the vessels so they show of course they cannot talk but they show what they want so this is all about the animals so next when you come to all the non living things are called biotic resources so these are like buildings roads parks industries so these are all non living things rock uh, furniture chairs table many things are they non living things so they require nothing they require nothing so they have no life they never grow either you pour water or give food it doesn't eat doesn't need water so these are all non thing non living things but very much needed for a human very much needed for human because man need it man need it so therefore <coughs> all plants animals and human beings depend on their immediate surroundings immediate surrounding means <coughs> like buildings roads industries and all the surroundings whatever immediate immediate surroundings so man cannot live as an island man need man is a social animal he need to be with the people he need to be with the people and he is in need of uh, living things as well as uh, non living things <coughs> of course man must be having many things man must be having many things but he doesn't have the non living things his life is not completed his life is not uh, completed of course you are having house is not enough where man man will live if there is no house where can man live how long can he live on the road or in the forest or street by side cannot so man need living things as well as non living things most of the time man is depending on non living things man is depending on non living things take for example house industries to work then roads to travel and the furniture to relax so of course for each and everything man is depending man is depending on each and everything of course man need very good surroundings including park animals and the birds trees water and his own fellow beings so without this he is incomplete so they are also interdependent on each other so man cannot live alone man cannot live alone he is interdependent on each other of course we need each other i cannot live alone how long can i live alone i want someone i want company so man will depend either on his fellow beings or on animals or on plants to just to spend the time we are interdependent of course even even though i must be having lot of money i must be living in a very uh, what called big house 
very posh house but i don't have any company i don't have any nest human being to live i don't have very good company what is the use what is the use at least whatever i have to enjoy that or to consume that or to spend with that i should have a person i should have a things to enjoy so therefore dear children so don't think that having everything is man is completed no having everything still the living things will be lacking so many things he will be lacking so many things so therefore man is depending on the immediate surroundings plus he is depending on interdependent on each other either it is a living things or non living things okay chilla please go through the lesson and try to understand thank you